साइक्लोट्रोन कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड वर्किंग सो साइक्लोट्रोन इज अ डिवाइस दैट इज यूज टू एक्सेलरेट द चार्ज पार्टिकल इन दिस केस लेट्स से इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सो इट हैज टू हाफ्स सेमी सर्कुलर हाफ्स एंड बोथ हैव यूनिफॉर्म मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इन साइड दम इन बिटवीन द टू हाफ्स देर इज अ गैप वेयर यू अप्लाई सम पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस दैट पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस इज यूज टू increase the velocity of electrons so by the time electron comes from here to here the direction of the field needs to be reversed so that's why there is an oscillator here that varies the voltage periodically so these halves are called d's electron starts from center it will gain some energy here go here and again it will gain some more energy so as it gains more energy its velocity will increase and we know that radius in a magnetic field is proportional to velocity so its radius will increase and again it will increase and again it will increase and like that so it will go in these circular paths until it reaches the outer end and then it will just go out as an output beam of high speed electrons so let's just go through these points so electric field reverses every half cycle of electrons traveling path so if here when the electron was crossing this region the electric field should be downwards and by the time it reaches here electric field needs to be upwards then only it will accelerate here and here so frequency of doing so is called oscillator frequency so that should be so its cycle starts here and this cycle again starts here so this is the total time period of this oscillator so this frequency 1 by t is called oscillator frequency it's same as electron circling frequency which we know as qb by 2 pi m so here let's say the field was negative in negative direction so it comes here field becomes in positive direction and when it comes here it again becomes in negative direction so between negative and negative two consecutive negatives there is a time period of uh half of cycle here and half of cycle here so total is full cycle which is qb by 2 pi m the frequency i mean time period total will be 2 pi m by qb so electric field between these increases electron's velocity whereas magnetic field turns them round energy difference in electrons between any two subsequent curves curves is 2 qv so let's take these two curves so inside the d's there is no electric field so energy is constant so let's say here it has some energy so it is that energy is constant so here it will have a jump jump of qv in energy then again it becomes constant here it has another jump of qv total jump has become 2 qv now so in this path the energy is increased by 2 qv that is the energy difference with more and more velocity the separation between the curves decreases this i have not proven it here but you have to use a just think about it why this should happen just pause the video and think and i will tell you then okay So now let's see the second point. It says the energy difference between two curves is two qv, which is a constant. So energy difference between every two any two curves is constant. And what is that energy? That is proportional to v square. So energy is increasing in constant jumps, and it's proportional to v square, which means v square is increasing. linearly which means v is increasing as a root function so the radius is proportional to v and v is increasing as a function of a root see for example just take a simple example so here let's say v square was 1 here v square is 2 here v square is 3 here v square is 4 so the radius is proportional to v so that should be proportional to 1 and root 2 root 3 root 4 root 5 like that 
that's how the radius is increasing and for higher numbers roots the difference between the roots becomes less and less so here let's say it's 1 so this is 1 this is this gap is root 2 minus 1 this gap is root 3 minus root 2 then root 4 minus root 3 so this gap will start to decrease as you go out radially just use a pen and paper and you can arrive at the same result so yeah these are the points and this is the construction and working of the cyclotron now you are ready to do any questions based on this so we are given the oscillator frequency of cyclotron we need to find the voltage applied across the DEs if the distance between the neighboring trajectories is delta r when the trajectory radius is r so when the trajectory radius is r next gap is the gap between this and the next is delta r and we need to find what is the potential difference so energy difference between these two curves will be let's call it de and it is equal to 2 qe which we can write as d of half mv square so change in kinetic energy so v is omega r for a for a charged particle rotating and omega is 2 pi f because the frequency of oscillator is same as frequency of the circling charge so we can put 2 pi f r here and we will get this and if we so these things are constant half m into 2 pi square f square will take them out dr square so this becomes qv is equal to 2 m f square pi square 2 r dr so why we are using dr because you can see that this delta r is very less compared to r so because of that reason we can approximate this to be r delta r and that is our answer